Shall I turn in my badge and rifle as well? Closed. It's your funeral.
Good evening and welcome to WCU Esports. Tonight we are playing League of Legends with Western Colorado University taking on Northern Arizona University, NAU Academy A. I'm Mountain Man, joined here by... JoJo's Mojo once again, and from what it sounds like, this these two teams did meet during activation week, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. It should be a close game, these two now, this is a battle for 7th and 8th in the division, so this is just a matter of who will have a slightly better position to go into playoffs with. So this should be a good, even fight. I'm really excited to see what happens with WCU. And for those wondering why the band seemed so askew for NAU JV in that band phase, it sounds like there's a rule in NECC where if you are playing with a sub and you fail to notify someone or notify the opposing team 15 minutes before you play, then you apparently have to lose two bands, the last two bands, and then the first two NAU just chose to not ban. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen that, so definitely interesting there. Uh, NAU only going with one ban. Um, hopefully it goes in favor of the Mountaineers in that aspect, but we will see. That we will, and I mean, everyone's saying good luck, have fun, and right now every champion looking just to wait for the minions to come out. So Yeah, definitely in that early stage. Uh, playing for the Mountaineers, we have... Uh, Disagree, Alti, Orange, Haymaker, and Corey. And then playing for NAU, we have Pob, Stan, Roman, Moagi, and Wyvern. Now, those, of course, aren't their entire names, but it's That's just, what we're going with. <laughs> it's just easier to call out. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Wyvern is in the middle lane. Moagi, Moagi, Mr. Miyagi is down bottom on their own right now. Nope, they have Roman with them. Yeah, we do see uh, Western Colorado doing some lane swapping, so definitely interesting strategy there. I believe part of that is also to do with NECC rules, just um, how many uh, times you can play in opposite roles and whatnot. But I also think that for the Mountaineers right now, it's them trying to figure out a strategy and figure out where they want people. And especially going into playoffs, that's going to be probably the best thing that the WCU can do is find out where they want their team to be. Yeah, already in week eight and WCU still just trying to figure it out as a team. Uh, they do already have a qualifying spot for playoffs. So. Ooh. Speaking of having it figured out as a team, looking at Roman and Malag or Malagi down on the bottom they do pick off ulti that is the first kill of the game putting them at about a six seven or about a five six hundred gold lead which i mean two minutes 50 seconds this is very different than what we saw the other night where it took about 10 minutes for one kill yeah it's definitely an aggressive uh, push there from nau uh, i think wcu just kind of got a little bit out of position there but nonetheless we're still early on anything can happen so plenty of time for either team at this point yeah, and early kills definitely do not mean that that will be the deciding factor. We do see Haymaker up top, and I think this is going to be jungle once again. And we have Orange. I think Orange is the one who is tried and true on WCU, sticking to the middle. Yep, Orange and uh, Corey, Corey sticking down there on support, so... Right now, both teams doing a fairly good job of building the goals and just trying to... I mean, I'm just trying to do what they can. The 500 gold, a little bit of an advantage for NAU, but not amazing. Yeah, Five. really not too much at this point, especially looking at overall uh, rankings. It seems relatively similar. It seems like NAU looking for another kill there, and they get it. Roman on Corey in the bottom lane. And they're going to be chasing down Ulti here for a second, too, as Ulti gets very low. And now with Ult Ulti does pick off Mawagi, which is not a bad trade. Keeps WC within a few hundred gold. I mean, I think at, from what it looks like, as you get more and more kills, gold seems to slowly but surely get higher. And with that, I mean, right now, WCU has narrowed the gap, and they keep getting the gold. It looks like Dis really doing their job in the jungle, picking up what they can. 
Yeah, as far as positioning, uh, WCU definitely is slightly leading the charge here on the top lane. Um, I mean, overall about the same, but they're slowly chipping away at that tower, so... Or turret. Turret, yep. It's weird, I don't know why it's not just a tower, it definitely should be. But, I mean, right now in terms of positioning too, it looks like Orange has a little bit of an advantage being just about at that midway line on the map. Whereas Wyvern is definitely more towards their own turret for the moment. And Dis now coming in in the middle, I think just using that as a scare tactic running across. Yeah, we do have another jungler going middle though, WCU. Okay, there would be no fighting there, so. It does look like that we will have a Drake spawning very soon within the next 20 some seconds. And there we're back tied to gold, so WCU definitely starting to pick up the slack after going down 2 1. I don't even see our kill. <laughs> yeah, our kill was uh, right as it just cut away last second, but Ulti got a snipe onto nice. Mawagi. So, I mean, pretty decent pick. It's not a bad position that WCU is in right now. And, right, and overall, it's looking like it's a much closer battle than what the previous seven weeks have been. Those have been rough, to say the least, for Western. But right now against NAU, Western looking pretty confident and pretty solid, playing very careful and smart. Yeah, so all these kills coming in bottom lane, so top and middle just kind of still just playing true to themselves and nothing too exciting happening up there yet. And it's kind of just been a small back and forth between the top lanes as well. Haymaker just getting the minions and using those to be able to push onto Pob. And Haymaker now getting very aggressive going for Pob. It's like Cory and Ulti working together trying to take out anyone, but it's going to be a 3v1 or 3v2 here. So they're going to probably have to rec retreat back to their turret. And Haymaker's had a decent bit of damage on that top lane turret. I mean, a lot of that coming from the minions, but that also attests to what he's been doing against Pob. And as we see there, Oh, close one there. Very close. And we see uh, NAU going for an early dragon here. Ooh, I know it's a dragon. That is a dragon, and Cory might be coming in trying to snipe. Tries to get a shot off, not able to do so. This dragon really could benefit NAU. I mean, WCU, though, has taken the lead in terms of gold. They're about 600 up and climbing. WCU looking good in this early game. Probably definitely, what, 7 minutes, 45 seconds in. I'd say this is the best we've seen them at this stage in the game so far. Still down one kill, but leading in gold and honestly just playing pretty pretty well together. Yeah, they're playing fairly solid and there's a, as we see on blue, looks like NAU's ready for that Rift Herald to spawn and maybe a chance to really change pace of the game. That Rift Herald, one of the bigger benefits that you can get in terms of uh, what you like those big creatures that spawn in there's the drakes and dragons and then there's the rift heralds rift heralds you can use to essentially take down turrets and try and use that as a push onto players mm. and the gold is just about tied once again it's right there 1200 or 12k to 12k It does look like we have Stan doing a little bit of damage on that Rift Herald, just kind of going in, going out. We're seeing a double team here in the top lane with Disagree coming in, Haymaker. See if they can get a kill here. They and do get they a pick get on the it. Pob, and now it's going to be the jungler Stan Melton working against Dis and Haymaker. A powerful combination. Good decision, just back off there, and... WC likely going to take another plate or two off of that top tower. I mean, that's a really big advantage early in this game, and Western has now tied the turn or the kill board, and they are now leading in gold. And it looks like Ulti and Corey have found the momentum, and they're starting to push back Roman and Moagui. Moagui. Moagui, I don't know. <laughs> M. <laughs> it's like Haymaker might... Ooh. 
Haymaker gets a second kill onto Stan. That is really solid play on the top from Haymaker. Yeah, definitely having a disagree come up from the jungle. Helped out that first kill, but that second one was all Haymaker there. Disagree back in the jungle. And it looks like no one's really looking at that Rift Herald for the moment. It's, it's right there for the taking, and I think one good push from any combination of two on either side will be a huge benefit. We do see Stan coming up on the bottom for Northern Arizona. So it should be interesting to see what happens, especially with Cory and Ulti being pretty far up there in terms of how far they are from their turret and how much they can get trapped. But Stan will be just heading out, going into the jungle. And right now it looks like the most tur turret damage is going to be coming from Haymaker alone. But other than that, 10 minutes in and... WCU's in the lead, which is the first time, I think, in the NECC they've been in the lead at this point. Yeah. For this season, I mean. I do believe so. Uh, this is a match between the two lowest seeds in the yeah, division. Yeah, 7th and 8th. So. It's a battle for who's going to get last, who's going to not. <laughs> you see Dis coming in, though. Going to try and save his team. Doesn't, Isn't able to find uh, the save. But there are four of the NAU squad down on the bottom, so it's just Haymaker and Pop as Wyvern and Stan decide to come back and save. There is going to be another Drake spawning in a minute and some change. Orange Sloth is doing some damage on that middle turret, but about to get pushed. We'll see if he's able to get out of there safely. There's going to be a big fight. This is going to be a 2v1 against Orange. And Orange looking like he's going to fall here, unfortunately. Gets a resurrected... Oh! Haymaker coming in now, does pull Wyvern off, trying to save Orange, gets Wyvern, and now it's going to be a 2v1 against Stan Milton. Stan tries to chase down Orange, doesn't find him. Haymaker coming in for the save on Orange Sloth. That has been, what, I think four kills from Haymaker tonight. I believe we can we, check this. Well, we definitely can check. Oh, man. Personally, we can't. We'll see. But there, there it is. we go. Haymaker has three on the night for WCU being that second from the bottom. And, I mean, he's really doing his share in terms of trying to help out his team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you can see, that top tower, or that top turret is almost gone. And Haymaker has just been playing unreal. Ulti now gets ch or gets chased by Roman and Moagi, or Moagi. And Haymaker looking to get another pick onto Pob. Yeah, WCU has both top and mid lanes down to two armor plates on those turrets, so definitely a good advantage there. I think we're in for a long night. I think so too. This is a game that could swing either way at any moment, and right now I think that NAU is more focused on trying to just even the game out a little bit, as WCU is more focused on just trying to take out the turrets and take out what damage they can. And there's going to be the dragon attack here coming from Stan, Roman, and Milwaukee. Looks like we might have a push coming in from Dis and Cory to try and steal the kill. You know, that dragon, Dis does get shut down here by Milwaukee. It's going to be Cory and Ulti. And Wyvern now coming in. It's going to be a cleanup onto Ulti. And looks like we will see Orange come down to support as well. Yep, that was a tough fight there from WCU. Tough loss. Uh, it did put NAU up in kills and get closer in gold. WCU still at the lead there, but NAU likely going to get that dragon. Yeah, we do see Orange Sloth down there trying to do something. He will get a pick down onto Milwaukee. Once again, Milwaukee seeming to be one of the ones who just can't seem to stay away from being dead on any new side. And he does end up finding the dra- does end up finding- yeah, finding the dragon. I said that correctly the first time. Yeah. Um, but WCU with about a- closing in on a 2,000 gold lead. And no one has gone for the Rift Herald, which is really interesting. I don't know what- game plan is here, but the two dragons in favor of NAU. No turrets have fallen on either side. I wonder what these teams are doing. Looks like there's a... 
That looked like to be a pause of some sort for some reason. Well, that was a unique play there, but... Yeah, the team's just respecting each other and being willing to take half a second for some reason. Ooh, Ooh Koi's gonna get double teamed once again. And hey, you definitely is slowly trying to reel it in, but WCU taking the first turret there. And it looks like Haymaker gonna be trying to take out Pob as well. And does find him. Haymaker on a rampage here. I mean, pretty big advantage in terms of WCU side on the top lane. Yeah, Haymaker now with four kills. Well, it looks like a lot of teamwork coming from the NAU on that bottom lane, but on the top, not a ton. Ooh. As Ultisauce has gotten the only Roman taken out. Dis now working on that Rift Herald. Is he going to be able to find it on his own? It looks like no one's going to be contesting. I don't know if Stan's going to get there in time to steal it from Disagree. Don't believe so. And no, Disagree does find the Rift Herald. So that is, I, that is one of the best things that could have happened, especially with Haymaker doing so well on the top. If Haymaker and Disc can get one solid push together, I feel like they might be able to take it all the way to the NAU crystal, like to the NAU home base. Yeah, I'm definitely curious if uh, WCU will try and push that uh, middle lane now just to take out two towers or two turrets. Um, but nonetheless, WCU off to a great start. We're just past the 16 minute mark already, so. We see Haymaker doing a decent bit of damage on the Pob once again. Now Ulti and Cory looking to work together, both being a bit of a projectile based character it seems. Haymaker very much so one of those up close and physicals. Haymaker going to be pushing back to the next wave of minions coming in on his side. Overall, like you said, this is going to be a long night. I feel like this is going to be a hard-fought battle both ways. And Haymaker is going to get 2v1 here. He's going to try and take a pop disc coming in to try and support. It's going to be a 3v3. Orange Loft does get pop. Dis and Haymaker looking to find Wyvern. As Wyvern and Stan retreat back to that second tower on, or second turret on that top lane. Yeah, they kind of have to after three of the Mountaineers came in there and had much higher health. And it looks like WCU from last week to this week has figured out really where to succeed and play as a team. Definitely. I also feel like uh, just the matchup between these two teams is much closer than what we've seen thus far this season. So I think WCU is definitely going to be happy either way from this match. And right now they're playing really well. They're playing really smart and safe, but... On, on the bottom lane, Roman and Milwaukee being just a force to be reckoned with, taking out Ulti once again, Cory trying to just do some damage, but not what you can do when you're on your own against two people. Mm -hmm. You see Haymaker just about at half health as well, sitting up top, and there might actually be a little bit of a push coming from Wyvern in that middle lane. Uh, looks like WCU might be going for a double team there, potentially, maybe not. WCU still leading in gold, but relatively this is a somewhat even matchup. WCU with the first turret destroyed and definitely more armor taken off the others, but... Well, that is going to be a big advantage too, having that Rift Herald. And as we get into the later game, we'll see that a lot more. Having that Rift Herald will be a huge benefit. And it can damage a lot. Looks like Roman might actually get taken, might have gotten picked if he wasn't careful there, which he was. Orange looking enough to be taken out here. And it's four of NAU coming in on to WCU. Orange does get shut down. It's going to be, I believe, just... I think this is running away somewhere. Haymaker coming into support against Wyvern. There is a dragon up top. Yeah, it seems like both teams a little scrambled after that fight. So we'll see what team can regroup and see if they will go on the attack or just kind of reset. 
Well, what's also interesting here is Pob is uncontested in the top, taking on that tower. I think his minions do the work, whereas WC is more focused on getting this dragon for the moment. So I think they know the importance of not letting NA you get it. Maybe this Haymaker and Ulti working together. So it's gonna be an attempt for a pick from NAU, and they're not gonna get it. It's gonna be one big team fight. Disagree gets taken out. Haymaker looking to maybe fall here in a second. He does get found. First hurt of four NAU is gonna be destroyed, and it's gonna be a swing of momentum in NAU's favor on that dragon. The only player from WCU still alive is gonna be Orange Sloth up top. Chasing Pob down a little bit, trying to take him out. Milwaukee now going to take out that second turret in the middle lane. So everything has shifted in favor of NAU for the moment off of that one dragon push from WCU. Yeah, it was definitely a good play there from NAU. Kind of waiting for WCU to get low health. Essentially just giving up that dragon, but almost getting a team kill in the process. So, Well, they almost... To just to boot, they almost advanced their team an entire stage in mm -hmm. the game, taking out two of three WCU turrets. Now they're working on the third, as it looks like Corey is going to be coming back in alone, just for the moment at least. Yeah, just to kind of try and spook them off that turret. And they do that successfully, as Wyvern just keeps just or just keeps moving around in the middle by themselves. Yeah, I think WC did have the advantage, but just kind of gave it up in that one fight. Still, I think they're slowly starting to reel them back in, but it's going to take some time. It will take some time, and something else to note is generally when we see teams have a 5 kill lead, namely over the Mountaineers, they have much more than a 1.5-2k lead in terms of gold. Yeah, so kind of because of that, WCU definitely, uh... Ooh. Double team there on Haymaker. Triple, Triple team. team. I think any of you realizes the threat that Haymaker has or, pre or presents to them though. Yep. As Haymaker does pick off Pob in that fight, but gets found by Roman and Milwaukee. Yeah, just the fact Haymaker was able to get one kill there was pretty impressive. WCU trying to, and they do take that middle lane turret. But at what cost? Looks like Orange Sloth will go down. Something that I will note is that right now it looks like I'm use more focus on trying to get the 2v1 kills and keep one Mountaineer out of play at all times. Whereas WC is a lot more focused on just trying to take kills where they can and just keep it a fairly balanced fight. So it's I'm curious to see how this will play out for both teams as we get further into this match. Yeah, we do see uh, NAU definitely going for more team fights over WCU, but nonetheless, WCU is still, still holding strong, so... And there will be the third turret coming from NAU on that bottom lane. It looks like three of NAU will be... or four of NAU have just retreated now back to their base. Yeah, I think they just respawned to purchase some more items. Taking a look here, seeing what everyone has. I mean, Milwaukee and Wyvern definitely coming in for... I honestly don't know how to read this. <laughs> Neither do I, but some people do, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, if NAU doing another dragon attack, and WCU is not there to attack, so... WCU having just respawned as well. Yeah, NAU now with, I believe, three dragons, and WCU with only one. No, that was a Baron, was which it a Baron? I'm not sure what those do. I'm not sure what a lot does. WCU is going to take this bottom turret, though, so... I don't know where the Rift Herald went. I thought WCU had that and were able to use it for a time, but they just... I don't know if they didn't. I don't know if they didn't. We just missed it. Hmm. I don't know. Overall, though, very even in terms of turrets to not. 
WCU having three turrets, the only difference being one Baron and a Dragon in favor of NAU, as well as five kills. Only a three gold, or three gold lead though. 3k gold lead. Yeah, it's definitely uh, still a close fight, slightly in favor of NAU, but nonetheless, this still could be anyone's game. So, WCU grouping up. We haven't really seen this yet this game, so we'll see what they're going for on this attack. And that's a triple sleep on the WCU. They get mostly waking up. Corey getting very low there for a second. There's going to be one major kill onto NAU. It's going to be a kill now to trade onto ulti, it looks like it will be. As now Haymaker comes in, takes out Wyvern. And they're going to also find Roman. Yeah, WCU definitely won that fight. Oh, by a landslide, and there's three down on NAU who have at minimum 15 seconds before they can come back in. But he's going to have a free take onto this dragon, evening that aspect up. Hob's going to be just alone, left alone up top to do some damage on the dragon, but we do see Orange Sloth coming in to push him back off. I do love at this point in the game, kind of how you see your rotations change, watching Orange Sloth go more upper as Haymaker is kind of running with the pack at this point, so. I mean, overall, it looks like we just see a lot more team play coming from both sides, and WCU is really using that to their advantage. They know that NAU likes to play as a team, so they figure the counter to that is be a bigger team, and you can't get much bigger than a 5-on-4. Unless, of course, it's like a 5-on-1, but that's just bullying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just looking at uh, individual player scores, it looks like. So WCU has two players at 15, although NAU has four of their players at 14 rank currently. So I think uh, NAU definitely has a tighter grouping, but WCU with a couple of uh, just higher ranked players. So. But speaking of, WCU loses that last turret in the middle lane. It looks like it's going to be a big fight down there too. Hob and Wyvern working together to try and take out Orange Sloth, they get blocked off. So Orange going to be able to escape for the moment, maybe. As here comes the rest of WCU, and it's going to be one massive team fight. And it looks like it's going to be kill trades for a while. Nope, it looks like it's going to be three in a row for NA, four in a row for NAU. Yeah, NAU came in strong and won that fight there, giving them a... Just over a 4k advantage in gold, and now they're up 6 kills, and definitely starting to move in on WCU's turret. Their, yeah, they're last. Game, yeah. And this could be the end game for WCU, but we're not too sure. The momentum swung just in what, not terribly long ago, about 10 minutes in NAU's favor. And for the past 10 minutes, it's been a little bit all NAU, but for the first 15, it was just about all WCU. So we've got to see how Western can recuperate, recover, and push as a team now. I think right. I think the smartest play is just to have one or two people... Actually, I think it might just be best to go back to their lanes. But have one person ready to go up top and one person ready to go on bottom to get back so it's not an outnumbered fight. We'll see three of Western going up top. Corey, Ulti, and Dis working together. It looks like Orange is going to be pushing up top as well. And there's going to be three of NAU going to be back at base here in just a second as someone from NAU respawned back. I believe it was Pob. Seem like there's gonna be another Baron coming soon. And it might be a big fight over who gets the Baron, and that could very well decide the game. Yeah, I think there's still uh, plenty of time left on both sides. Uh, NAU still with an advantage, but WCU grouping up together. Not exactly sure what their plan is right now. Looks like we could have a big fight here in middle lane. 
And it looks like, I mean, right now it seems that we just about will. I think what Haymaker is going to try and do is go in, get one person, grab them, pull them back. But I, it also could be that Ulti here gets double teamed. As WC now gets back to try and defend their last turret in the middle lane before they get to the before and he is able to start going on crystals. Pop takes out most of that bottom lane turret as well before Ulti comes in and slows him down. But no kills surprisingly, despite how many people were yeah, definitely there. Definitely close proximity of each other, but. Nothing too crazy. Looks like we could be coming up on a pretty decent fight here, though. I think both teams just kind of waiting for the first pick and then start attacking from there. I think both teams should see which, where they're going to try and strike first. Yeah, everyone with uh, pretty high health going into what could be one of the best fights of the game, but... Seems like uh, NAU is starting to split up and back off, so. I think right now what NAU is doing is going to be going for that Ocean Drake, which just spawned in, and it will be their goal to get that uncontested. Lucio may be looking to try and get one snipe in, but... Yeah, no, that's going to be just a huge kill for NAU. Yeah, nothing WCU could do there, so... Just as a team, slightly out of position, so... NAU definitely leading the charge. But overall, still a very close game. There, It does seem to be swinging a lot more in favor of NAU for the moment, but that doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way forever, and Western really can come back. They just need one, maybe two good pushes to try and figure things out, and there's going to be a take or a hook coming up from Ulti to pull Roman in, and Wyvern now going to jump in trying to save them. Roman will get picked off because of that, though. Mainly because of Orange blocking them, blocking that route off. This is going to fall. Down. Ulti looking like they might fall here in half a second. But Orange gets picked on to stand, so right now WZ winning this fight. And Haymaker chasing down Pop. They have swapped sides of the playing field, both now back. Hamish are going to stop Pob from channeling back to their base. Haymaker on 1v2. Yeah, good, uh, good start here for Haymaker giving an early kill. But we will see if he's able to stay alive and he will not be going one for one there. Yeah, WCU starting to slowly reel in NAU after uh, NAU won a couple of those big fights, but like we say, still uh, anyone's game at this point. Most definitely, and I mean, it's a 4 kill difference and only a 3k gold difference, so Western can definitely come back and get this. Pob, though, does take that or take the advantage of time on his side and picks off that bottom lane tower. It's going to be Dis, Ulti, and Cory working together. Trying to take him out, not able to do so. Yeah, WC definitely doing a slightly better job just chipping away at those towers and also getting a majority of the, I guess, animals in the jungle. Yeah, any you Creatures. now with two barons, <laughs> I guess. And five towers, it's just everything is seeming to swing into NAU's favor. Momentum is definitely on their side. Western going to need a lot to come back from this, but it's not unheard of. Yeah, three on three. Three on two fight as Stan Melton takes out Corey. Start things off, and it's going to be Ulti running back to their spawn. As everything seemed to just block out for half a second there. 
we are in close to final fight territory now. And we see Andy getting a three picks there. Two picks. NAU pushing a very aggressively here. The first inhibitor falling for WCU. And NAU gonna actually back out as Western seems to have things defensively locked. NAU going up uh, over 5k in gold now, so we're just slowly chipping away and this is overall though been a great match. Yeah, it's been very even. Obviously one of the longer matches we've seen this semester coming from WCU is it is in fact 35 minutes in to game one of this series. Yeah, there's still uh, honestly no sight and end quite yet. Slight favor of NAU, but WCU still with the, playing well. I mean the momentum has just been shifted back and forth so far this game as you can see. It started out more in NAU's favor, but then it quickly swung to WCU's, and then NAU took control once again, once WCU took that second dragon. So, very interesting now to see what WCU does here to recover and try and get a big push. Like, Western just waiting in the bushes, trying to bait NAU to coming in on that dragon. And Western looking to try and get ready to take on the dragon once again. Be a team, not a team fight, but close to it. As there's going to be a quick takeout from Milwaukee. And Roman gets shut down. Stan almost gets taken out. Wyvern finds the first part of Orange Slot. Definitely in favor of NAU after winning that fight. You gotta yeah. assume that's gonna be an NAU's favor here. And you've also got to think that's coming from here on. And they're as going we, for a hard push as well. I mean, I don't blame them after taking out the dragon. They know they have like 20 seconds till someone from WCU respawns. It's all on Haymaker to defend, who has been playing on real tonight, but just can't do enough. A pentakill coming from the Woggy. All of WCU is down with. Oh. Corey is back up, but this could be it. This will be it. NAU taking game one. Overall, that was just a very close fight, a very solid fight coming from both teams. And I think that WCU, although they are a little out at the moment, don't, or a little down at the moment, don't count them out just yet. It was a really it, like for 15 minutes there it was, a, it was just in WCU's favor and they just couldn't quite find the one thing to click and NAU had that big counter and attacked as a team which I think really hurt Western but I think if Western here regroups figures out how to play against that then they're going to be doing just fine. I would agree we're going to take a short break here and we'll be back for game two.
fight you can't win. Genius will be understood eventually.
Well, after some troubleshooting there, welcome back to WCU Esports, where WCU is in fact on the left this time, not on the right. So WCU in blue, NAU in red. It's game two of the series. I mean, it was a close fought first round, and Western can really bring it back here. Yeah, definitely well played from uh, both teams. Probably the best game we've seen uh, WCU have this season. So that's exciting. We did have a sub from WCU come in. We have Ben the Bean coming in for Corey. So we'll see if that can make a difference for WCU or... Yeah, we're just excited for this next match. I'm really excited right now. Both teams doing the same thing as last time. Just kind of feeling them... Like just waiting for everything to come in. Waiting for minions to hop out and there's some banter going on in chat once again it's a uh, honestly it's good to see that despite some i don't know just weirdness between rounds with getting things loaded up and ready to go and that's the long pause from us but despite that happening some banter still going on in chat showing these two teams are willing just to have fun and that's what they're here for yeah, I mean, that's the overall goal. I mean, we're competing in video games. This is uh, this is definitely something our parents said we would not be able to do. So <laughs> This is... I, I love being able to go home and say that just to all of my friends back home, yeah, I have my name on a jersey. I have access to an NCAA weight room just because I play video games for the school. Oh, yeah. It is unreal. And overall, like, this is a pretty good community, too. Westerns, I haven't obviously been able to really see many other esports programs in terms of colleges, but I do know that Western here, overall, on campus and throughout the teams, there's a pretty good just community engagement. And Western's esports team really likes to just, every now and then, there's one or two players who will start the connections between teams, and it really thrives. And... I mean, without having joined a team in this semester, Overwatch Slate, I wouldn't have been able to meet people like Sponge, Goldeneye, and it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I definitely think it's a unique opportunity. I feel like you always get that at small schools, uh, WCU Esports, and it's, I believe, fourth year now. Uh, north of uh, just over 50 students on the roster between the six games, and honestly, uh, WCU Esports are looking good this this season here in the NECC with, uh, I believe, six teams on the cusp of either locked in or right on the bubble of making playoffs. So, and we see some fighting here back to League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking about uh, teams in playoffs, League of Legends has been secured for a while in terms of making League playoffs. It'll be a rough first round, but that's not to say that Western can't do it. They can... I mean, anything can happen, we don't know. Yeah, likely uh, this match we're watching here between WCU and NAU Academy A. Uh, likely the loser of this will be holding the lower seed in the division and henceforth be going up against the top seed um, in the first round of playoffs. So, definitely a lot to fight for here. I know uh, this division in general is pretty uh, unequally matched. Definitely the top teams are very high, whereas the low teams are pretty low. <laughs> it just kind of sounds like this season for a couple of, not just esports and not just League of Legends, but just teams in general for Western, some high highs and some low lows. Yeah, absolutely. And like we said, uh, NECC, with how many teams, how many games, they do a great job of yeah. essentially having the opportunity to compete. Uh, as far as placements, every once in a while, there's there's some outliers, but nonetheless, we are happy to be involved. WCU, with uh, about the same amount of gold, we're just past four minutes into this round. Nothing too crazy yet. No big team fights, though it does look like there's a little bit more control on the bottom coming from NAU once again, and more control up top coming from WCU. That just seems to be how things are going, as Pob is actually quickly turning this fight in their favor against Ulti. I believe uh, by about this time last game, we already had, I think, two or three kills on deck. So. We had two kills coming from NAU, and we were just about at the point for one coming from WCU, so it's a very close game this time around. Team's doing what we saw a couple weeks ago, I think it was, when WC took on the number one seed, where they were just 
feeling each other out, trying to get a feel for how they play, and... I mean, right now, it still just looks to be the same as WCU, just slowly trying to poke the bear of NAU. Just trying to get a little bit of damage here and there, and a little bit of, uh, whatever they can. Still only about a three, 400 gold lead for NAU, not too big. Something that WCU can definitely come back from a little bit of damage onto that first turret coming from NAU. And I think that coming up here, we'll be seeing one of the dragons spawn so it'll be interesting to see who goes for that who doesn't i mean pob looking to try and take out ulti on their own up top ulti still in a lead in terms of health haymaker and ben the bean on the bottom ben as mountain man said ben did come in for Corey, and right now it's still been even but pob as i say that is gonna take out ulti at the top the first blood of the match being drawn. Uh, in NAU's favor. NAU leading by about seven, eight, nine hundred. Eight hundred. Just about eight hundred, somewhere yeah. in the middle of the two. Okay. But as we saw last game specifically, WCU really closed that gap quickly. Absolutely, and I mean at this point, still early on, nothing nothing too crazy. We see uh NAU kind of going back to their strategy of uh Attacking jungle, WCU not grouping up yet, so. Yeah. And NAU has a strategy and they are consistent and following it, so. I mean, they're going with the thing that we like to say a lot, or that I like to say a lot here of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And right now, NAU just going for this dragon. Dis may be looking to try and get a small pick here, but no, he's gonna get soloed out. It's gonna be a 1v3, and this is gonna get quickly shut down. Yeah, look like he's going in just to get the last tap there and fails to do so, but... And we have a pick up top there with Orange Slaw. Orange does end up getting revenge for his fallen brethren, Ulti, on that top lane, leaving middle lane a little bit more open for NAU at the moment, but Ulti has come down in the middle and reclaimed it. Yeah, WC ties it up 2-2 here, but Haymaker is low. Looks like Haymaker will get away, though. Haymaker gets away, and it looks like he's going to be trying to channel back, same as Ben. Those two seem to work really well in tandem right now. As a team, they're looking strong. And Dis going to town in the jungle, just doing what he can. Wyvern sitting up top. Uh, WCU getting that uh, gold down to 500 difference now, so WCU slowly starting to reel them in. Similar to last game, uh, we see NAU going for more attacks in the jungle to build up their gold, and WCU just kind of slowly working through it. It also seems to be seems to me that both teams changed up where people are playing. WCU has ulti in the middle lane as they were bottom lane last time with Corey. Up top we actually have uh, Ben no not Ben, Orange yep. Orange is up top, Wyvern's up top for NAU, Pob being middle Yeah that's even a switch from what we saw earlier we, had, uh, we started the game with Alti up top so WCU definitely doing a lot of lane swapping which they're allowed to do uh, it's kind of part of what the discussion was between teams earlier but See NAU starting to get some damage on the middle lane turret. Speaking of damage on that middle lane, looking at ulti, he gets quite low, so he's gonna retreat behind the turret. It's gonna be Haymaker and Ben trying to take out anyone from NAU. Not able to do so as Ben retreats behind that bottom turret. Orange doing a decent bit of damage to Wyvern, but not enough to stay up and keep the pressure on the turret up top. NAU has a 3-2 kill lead for the moment and about 1,000 in gold. Which is more than, or which is about what we've seen in the past with WCU. This comes in to support his teammate. Orange now looking to try and take out Wyvern. Ooh. Does get it. Great pick to tie up the game. Ulti now looking for a pick onto Pob, as Pob is also looking for that pick onto Ulti. Both disagree and Ulti. Very low there in the middle lane with, uh, who's that coming in? Stan. Milton. Yeah. Stan Milton. Interesting name. <laughs> that it is. Not interesting in things like uh, 
just some of the weird ones we've seen in the past, but it's true. It's definitely that unique. is one thing I do love about video games is their gamer tags. <laughs> definitely some creativity, some uniqueness, and some just questionable. <laughs> Some questionable at the best of times, and those are the ones that we can actually talk about on stream. <laughs> There's some that, you know, they're, they're a little bit more out there, a little bit more risque, but... Yeah, I think the NECC does a pretty good job of limiting what names can be used, so that's, that's beneficial for the viewers. <laughs> beneficial for us is we don't have to go to extra lengths to try and hide <laughs> those names either. Which, I mean, you could do. But, again, very tough. Both teams, though, once again, just kind of feeling each other out. WCU looking to try and close this gold lead. As Ulti now going to be going back to their spawn. Yeah, NAU able to get it up to 1,000 now. So, they're definitely starting to put in some work here. Definitely taking out quite a bit of armor on those turrets. WCU has gotten one play off of the top turret, but aside from that, he's not touched the others. Oh, I didn't even see the Rift here. I'll come in, but it does look like that NAU has summoned it to try and take out that middle lane tower. They don't do it effectively, though. Looks like Dis did come in to support Ulti, and they managed to take it out really fast. Yeah, they did get it down to one plate left remaining, though, so... WCU has four, or has taken out one plate on the top, but other than that, they really haven't touched the towers too much. As I say that, though, Ulti is going in on, oh, Great Kawagi. kill there. I mean, that was just a long-range snipe onto Haymaker. You really can't do too much, and Stan now trying to pull in on Ben. WC, or, and Dis comes in to try and support, chasing down Stan. Ulti now getting chased by Pop. looks like they will win this one yes yeah they just barely will get there stan and roman barely clinging onto life i mean dis looking pretty decent ben looking decent but ulti has been taken out and so is that first middle lane turret and dis gets taken out there as well didn't know what that was uh, and you definitely uh, off to an early lead here as we're just past 12 and a half minutes in it's uh Honestly, just good team chemistry. They're working together, and honestly, they're just winning the fights. Like, WCU still looking good. Only down by two kills, but NAU's gold is significantly higher already. And that two dragon lead as well, when WCU can't even find a single turret rate, it, like, at this point is really just setting NAU up for success in the long run. Right now, it may not seem like much of a difference, but it's really working in their favor. And WCU really needs to get one or two good pushes, take out, like get a couple of good picks on to NAU, and that would probably swing it, swing the momentum back in their favor. Looking at the post-game stats last time on the League of Legends screen, it looked like the first about eight, ten minutes were in NAU's favor slightly, not majorly, but the momentum was kind of there, and it, or WCU then turned it around for the next ten or so. Yeah, basically but, until that one fight when they lost, or they got the dragon but lost the team fight. That was kind of their turning point there. And with that, and then you just picked the torch up and ran with it, and that set them up for success in the game. Yeah, so we're seeing uh, NAU off to a slightly bigger lead, though, here compared to in that first game. We're seeing if WCU is able to bounce back and hopefully switch the momentum in their favor. I mean, for now, we can't really say too much. Not too much is going on. Haymaker does try and get some damage onto Roman. Is Ben the Bean coming back now to support? I don't know which way this menu goes. I, I don't know enough about League. I really <laughs> don't care to try and learn it either. No, I do see uh, Orange Sloth though, looking pretty good for the Mountaineers with uh, three kills, no deaths. So. See, what I'm trying to figure out is it... I mean, it would have to be that way, right? Yeah. Kills on the left, deaths in the middle, and assists on the right. Yeah, but I 
do believe so. I mean, that would make the most sense, because that's how it lines up right now with Pob and Milwaukee just carrying NAU at the moment with four kills and three kills, respectively. Yeah, I do believe that's why it's called a PBA. Yes, <laughs> and assists. I play a game where you shoot a ball <laughs> in a net. It's... <laughs> There's no such thing as KDA. I don't know. Uh, we got some demos in there. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like Dis and Orange are going to be trying to take on three of NAU. It was three Mountaineers for a minute there. Dis looking to try and pick off Stan. Not oh. going to be able to do so as Pop comes into support. Disagree Orange. getting so close there. Orange is going to... Oh. Yeah. No, there's a resurrection thing yeah. with that character. And it's not looking like it's going to work as Pop does take out Orange. And now it's going to be Ben who came in to try and support who will get taken out. And Haymaker's just going to run away. Yeah, that is a tough fight for WCU. Not taking anyone there and losing three of their players. Potentially four. They are pushing aggressively oh, and they gosh. get Haymaker. That being said, we do see a kill coming from... I, I, Haymaker did get a revenge kill for the moment. And kills are 5 to 11, about a 6k lead in gold for NAU. Yeah, NAU definitely uh, being very aggressive here in game two. I mean, the aggressiveness is working on, or is working out for them. I don't think they quite know what to do with that. As Ulti just trying to run away back to his team. And Stan's chasing them down. And there it is. Stan does find Ulti. Just extending that lead for NAU. And there is a Rift Herald, which Stan is going to be starting on. And Wyvern's going to come in and support. Haymaker making note of the Cloud Drake coming in. In about 30 seconds. Orange Sloth tries to block Pob off in that top lane. And Stan's gonna find Orange. Orange blocking off once again, maybe. Yeah, we have a triple team up top. Looks like one of them went away, so just a. Uh... Okay, yeah, it looks like NAU is retreating into the jungle. Well, it actually kind of looks like NAU might just be all trying to group up middle to try and either take on this, like to try and get the pick onto this Drake, which is more than possible and more than probable. Yeah, this looks dangerous for WCU. Looks like exactly what happened last time, as that will be the dragon in WCU's favor, but two quick kills onto Western is going to change... It's just going to do the exact same thing that happened last time. NAU just let WCU take the dragon, and then they just... Western just got almost team killed both times, and that's really what changed the pace of the game in game one. And here in game two, I don't know if that's going to be enough to keep NAU at bay. As they now have near a 7k gold lead. And they find another turret up top. They have, WCU has yet to find one turret. NAU has found four. Both Rift Heralds and two dragons. WCU only has the one dragon. Uh, NAU definitely on the attack. And they're attacking well and slowly chipping away at WCU. Both in kills and gold and turrets. WCU still looking for their first turret, so. And there will be a Rift Herald summon in the middle. As NAU is looking to finish this one off quickly. Rift Herald does get taken down fairly quick by WCU. Yeah, still getting quite a bit of damage on that first uh, turret there, though. There is another turret falling from WCU side. That middle one might fall as well. I think that push in the middle might have been a front 
for NAU trying to just go up top, and they did find that second top lane turret. Sure, on the field. No idea who's gonna go for it. Yeah, we did uh, pass the 20 minute mark. Uh, NAU clearly with the advantage here. WCU trying to figure out what they can do to answer. I mean, for the moment, it doesn't look like they can do much as NAU just keeps sending two or three. They just make sure that they have numbers for these fights and they just keep winning with it. I mean, in terms of kills, Bob still carrying their team with eight. On WCU side, Orange Sloth having three. And then on back to NAU, Milwaukee having four, and then Stan having three. Roman now getting their first kill. Another turret taken out. And it looks like that bottom lane is getting dangerously close to being destroyed. WCU completely unaware. As it looks like they now are gonna be starting to move in. Pop though, just doing damage. As Dis and Ulti come in to protect their spawn. Yeah, it does look like WC though is Pop really taking little to no damage though, so. Looks like Pop's gonna stay there until Haymaker comes up. And there will be a Cloud Drake spawning in a minute and 12 from what it looks like. Five Mountaineers down low, just trying to take down Pob. And then you get a one-on-one -one trade. You see a one-to-one -one trade, but right now it looks like uncontested. NAU is going to find this Baron. Dis talking about that cloud, looking at that cloud Drake spawning in like 40 seconds. And the lead just keeps extending for NAU. Uh, 10k gold. Over 10k, yeah. And 10 kills as well. 10k, 10 kills, 6 turrets, a baron, and a dragon. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, NAU's just spawning back to buy some more items, and then potentially we're getting close to last fight territory, but I think we're still a little ways out. I think we're just a bit out of that, but it's not out of the question that Western could come back first game it was a very close fight but right now Western just can't seem to do enough to keep themselves in it they're trying and they're doing what they can but just nothing is seeming to just like nothing they can do can seem to keep them close enough yeah it looks like NAU is going for yet another dragon we'll see what WCU tries to do it looks like they might go for the contest but I'm just gonna wait it out for a second here I think WCU was trying to pick off the dragon with some shots through the wall. I don't think they're going to do anything. I mean, they definitely didn't get it. And then there's a pick on to disagree from NAU. I think Western here is just going to retreat and try and get back. As there are now four of NAU working together. Pushing in against Western. like ulti will... Ooh, ulti gets some good damage there. It's going back and forth here. Well, what that stand does find ulti, I mean, no idea what just happened. It just looked <laughs> like there were some blobs that split off that just kept him alive for a bit. Another turret destroyed coming from NAU. 
we are just about to hit the 25 minute mark. I wonder what WC is going to do here. They have to find a way to answer. A quick kill there as Haymaker trying to sneak in the back line. It's a double kill coming from NOU. Hornsloth does find Pob. Wyvern looking to be taken out here in just a second. Maybe they do find it. Yeah, double kill there from Hornsloth. WCU definitely fighting hard though. They are not giving up and still we're at the point where there could be a turnaround, but it's still in favor of NOU at this moment. Yeah, and I mean WCU knows what this mean like what this would mean if they could win it. They do find a shutdown onto Roman. Orange not trying to find Stan Milton if they can, and the rest of WCU coming in to try and help him out. It's gonna be a three on. It was gonna be a three on two fight for a second there, but they That's just the move backed there out. From Stan. <laughs> yeah, he just said nope and leapt away. <laughs> yeah, looking at kills, uh, NAU now leading by 13 kills, coming up on what, 12k. They're, they're sitting comfortably at a 12k gold lead, and yeah. I mean towers. WCU just can't get there. Right now, WCU just backed into their own corner. Definitely the way uh, NAU is attacking. It's tough for WCU to get their bearings, kind of focus on their lanes, or kind of just bouncing back and forth here. And by doing so, it's, it's makes it difficult to get those turrets. So. I mean, the teamwork coming from NAU here is showing that they're really pushing three at once, and they're able to get the kills in these fights, even when down. Two quick kills coming from NAU, but one answered from WCU. Maybe a second here as Wyvern and Milwaukee are very low. Wyvern will get taken out by Haymaker. Roman now, alone against three Mountaineers, does get taken out by Haymaker as well. Yeah, great triple team there. I mean, a lot of teamwork coming from WCU, and they're trying to show that they're not going to go down without a fight. They're backed into a corner, but that doesn't mean the game is going to end. This game goes until the crystals get destroyed. Don't worry. I, won't be gone long. I mean, I mean, right now, Western, you really just need an answer for Pob. He is 11 and 6 with two assists. Yeah, Pob is definitely playing very well here for NAU. WCU with two players, both with six kills. Uh, definitely the best coming from Orange Sloth with six kills and only one death. So. Orange Sloth is just managing to stay alive in the key points, and that's really what's doing him so well. But it just doesn't seem to be enough with all of NAU working so well together against Western. Looks like we might have a trade here as Disagree goes down, but then the Bean in pursuit, having to back off because Stan comes in. We do have a 3v3 here. 3v3, so it's going to be a big team fight. As any is very low, Haymaker, Orange Sloth, and Ulti all find kills. Man, WCU looking good there. That was, a, that was definitely the best team fight WCU has had this game. Getting it within 10 kills and Ooh, there's. Down. I mean, that's just going to be an uncontested inhibitor there yep. for Pob. Pob is just in the back line. And... There we go. WCU gets back. Pushing Pob away with a 2v1. WCU does find a bounty there as well. And they're back within 8k for gold. Yeah, so WCU definitely uh, flipped a switch and here in the late game. We're coming up on 30 minutes here in this game too, but still in favor of NAU. NAU has 
what, uh, eight turrets already destroyed, whereas WC was still looking for their first, so that's definitely uh, WC's biggest issue currently, but they're starting to, starting to play well and slowly making, picking up that progress, so. But Ben and Dis both looking quite low in terms of health. Haymaker, or all of WCU is now at this Baron. Stan gets a kill onto Ben. Milwaukee finds Dis. And this fight could be it. Yeah, NAU getting three good kills there. So if they're able to get even one more, they might be pushing here for the win. There is another blue turret being destroyed on the bottom. Pop just going on his own. WCU can't do anything about this. They're just all respawning. Ulti and Orange working on what they can do. Ulti just gets shut down there. Pob and Orange or Pob is now fighting against Orange. And now comes the rest of NAU trying to just push this and take out the rest of Western. I think this could be the last fight. We'll see how NAU attacks here. I mean, that two was. And two, yeah. Now, a bit of an advantage for WCU as they find a third yep. against Wyvern. And that will be Pob and Roman wandering back to try and stay alive. WCU with very little protection now. So, this could be wrapping up relatively soon if NAU is able to get. Honestly, just one more good team push. I think they're just waiting on the rest of their team to get spawned back in and get their... And be alive, I guess. I mean, as we hit 32 minutes, it looks like NAU is all back online and good to go. They might try and go for this Baron. Not entirely sure, though. Looks like they will. I think they're going to go for this Baron just to send a message. Ten turrets falling for WCU. I mean, really, the biggest difference here is the turrets. Uh, WCU playing well overall. Like, I mean, yes, they're down by 12 kills and... 13. 13 kills, but they're only down by 9,000 gold, so relatively still a close game, but just in favor of NAU overall. I mean, I think the main difference is that NAU's been able to get the picks where they needed, and this WCU just hasn't, and this might... This is definitely Final Fight territory. If one or two of Western fall here, that would probably do it. And we have one go down a little bit ago, then the And Haymaker goes down. I mean, Fancy, Haymaker. Orange. That is disagree. everyone. This will be it. NAU will take it in two. Yeah, that'll do it. I mean, WCU, you can't do anything there. And, I mean, that's going to finish it out. Looking at the kills, deaths, assists here. Pob just stomping with a 13 and 6. Yeah, well played there from Pob. Well played from both teams. It's definitely exciting. Yeah, I mean, Orange Sloth and Haymaker on WCU both coming out strong, having eight kills. I mean, sitting right in the middle between Stan and Milwaukee on NAU. And Orange Sloth had an incredible game. Eight kills, two deaths, seven assists. That's a 7.5 KDA. That is insane. Yeah, well played there. So... Nonetheless, uh, losing that game, WC will drop to the bottom of the division, but still with uh, one more game left this season and already with our ticket punched to playoffs. So I guess we'll be back uh, two weeks because yeah, next week is NACC spring break. I do believe two weeks. So. so two weeks as we take one week off of playing games <laughs> and getting to exist in this lovely arena, but... I mean, right now, anything can still happen for League of Legends. They might be able to clinch 7th again, depending on how the match in two weeks goes. Absolutely. We had, uh, what was it, 
believe a year ago we had our Overwatch Slate team go in as the seventh seed and finish second overall. So anything can happen in this league, which is great. But for that, that's going to do it for us here on WCU Esports. I'm Mountain Man. And I'm JoJo's Mojo.